One thing that just popped up, Adam Schefter just reported it. Um, Jamar Chase is dealing with a hip injury that's expected to sideline him for four to six weeks now. So he's not going to be playing in this game. So that's a huge factor. Now we're both out of our top horses. Um, so that's that, that changes everything uh, when it comes to this game plan now. So Jamar Chase ruled out. Um, that does definitely, again, that's a guy that last couple of weeks Joe Burrow has started to find. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely somebody Joe Burrow looks for. Um, I mean, like, we've seen it, right, where where he gets a curl route and he runs it for, like, 60 yards to put a game away. He is the dagger, right? Like, that is the closer for them. If, if, if they have anything close to a Nick Chubb, right, it's Jamar Chase, where, you know, their fans are like, why don't we get Jamar the ball more? That's their dude. That's their ace in the hole. That's the guy they got that changed everything for them, right? They had Joe Burrow. Uh, before they had Jamar Chase, and they were still relatively okay, but not a good team. Um, they got Jamar Chase. That's when things started to change from him being out on IR. That's significant for that, and that opens up the division too. Again, this is important to win now. So again, Adam Schefter reporting he's out four to six weeks, and they're going to put him on short-term IR. Yeah, yeah, they're going to put him on short-term IR, four to six weeks. He's going to see a hip specialist. Apparently, he has a hip problem. Um, but that is that is ground. That's earth-shattering news if you're a Bengal fan. It's that's, that's that's pretty important news if you're a Browns fan as well. But that's going to be that's going to be a change of things there.